Now here is part two of solving systems of equations with word problems. Now in the directions, it says solving the following word problems using a system of equation. Now the first problem, remember we talked about that we first need to read the problem. And when we don't know something, we are going to introduce variables. Now this, we can use any letter as we talked about in our part one video. Um, but if we use a variable, make sure we label them. So we are going to use two variables. Well, let's read the problem first. The difference of two numbers is three. Their sum is 13, find the numbers. So it looks like we have to find two numbers. And so we're going to let the first number today, we're gonna to use the letter N and that will equal the first number. And we're gonna let the second number rep be represented by the letter M. And that would be my second number. So here we go, the difference of these two numbers. So N minus M is, which is represents an equal sign, is three. And their sum, so we're gonna add the two variables together, n plus m will be equal to 13. Now we've created our system. And so let's see if we can, oh, this is the elimination method. And so we are going to zero out the negative m and positive m, which will leave us with two n equals three plus 13 is 16. When we divide it by two, n will equal 16 divided by 2 is 8. So right away, we know what our first number is going to be, and it's going to be the number 8. Now let's plug it into one of the problems. We're going to go ahead and put n minus m is equal to 3. So wherever I see the letter n, I'm going to open up for parentheses and then copy the rest of the equation down. We're going to plug in the number eight. And so now I am going to say eight, I'm going to add eight to both sides. This will become zero. And then we have a negative M equal. Oh, I wait, what did I do here? This is a positive eight. So I have to go back and I need to put a negative eight or add a negative eight to both sides. So we are going to add that negative eight to both sides. So I bring down my negative M and three minus eight is going to give me a negative five. Now we don't like the negative in front of the letter M. And so I am going to divide both sides by a negative one, which gives me M equals a positive five. So that's our second number. So if we add those two numbers together, eight plus five, it definitely gives us 13. And if we have eight, the difference of eight and five definitely is going to give us three. All right, that was cool. Let's go ahead and try our last example. Here we go, I'm gonna put that back. Let's pull out another one. This one says, find the value of two numbers if their sum is 41 and the difference is a negative seven. Oh, so now we're gonna have some negative numbers here. So let's pull out our highlighter just to make sure we have two numbers and their sum is gonna equal 41 and their difference is gonna equal a negative seven. So let's get to work. Let's label, um, let's name our variables. So are we going to use any different? Let's see, um, let A equal our first number. And let B equal our second number. 
I wonder if it's going to be a little bit different now that we have a negative number involved. Let's check it out. So the sum of two numbers, so we're going to have A plus B is equal to 41. And the difference of these two numbers, which is A minus B, is equal to a negative 7. Let's go ahead and see that these two B and negative B zeros out, and that will leave me A plus A, which is 2A, equals, now 41 minus 7 is 34. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so we can isolate the variable A, this 2 divided by 2, gives me 1, so I have 1a, and then 34 divided by 2 is 17. So we know that our first number, our first number is 17. Let's find our second number. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So we have a plus b is equal to 41. And wherever I see a letter A, I'm going to open up with a parentheses and write the remaining um, equation down. So I'm going to plug in 17. Now this is a positive 17, so I'm going to add a negative 17 to both sides. Bring my B down because this zeroes out and 41 minus 17, I believe is 24. So we know that our second number now is 24. So let's see if we get those correct. So if we add them together, 17 plus 24, that gives me 41. There's my first number. And my second number or I should say my, that gives me the answer to my first equation. And then 17 minus 24, yes, gives me a negative 7. So I went ahead and I checked my work and I made sure that I found the two numbers, the two values where their sum is 41 and their difference is negative 7. Hope this helps you with word problems. Sometimes word problems is very challenging for students. And so this is going to be the beginning of our four problem series. Um, and we're going to get into more in-depth word problems as the week goes on. So continue. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you know when I produce another video to help you be an expert at solving systems of equations and word problems. Thank you.